Hey there! Quick video today about the cross compilation and choosing correct targets when we are working with embedded systems and Rust. So let's dive in. When you are running a Rust app to get your current environment Rust friendly, you will end up with a target specified to your workstation. However, with Embedded, we are building a software that is going to run on Cortex-M hardware, which means that we need to select the correct compilation target manually. So what are possible compilation target? If you installed Rustup correctly, you should see Rustup. Then we say target list. And as we see right now, I'm working on a laptop that is a Mac um, and by default, my installed uh, target is x86-64 Apple Darwin. After executing the command, we can see a fairly extensive list of potential targets and architectures that we can compile our software to. We probably would expect something like ARM. However, um, this is not what we are looking for when we are working with embedded Cortex-M series, because this relates to a cortex a series. For Cortex M series, we have to look at TAMP V6, V7, or V8 targets. All these targets follow the following pattern architecture, vendor, operating system, environment. Let's quickly digest the name TAMP V7 EM non EABHF. TAMP is the name of the instructions and the opcodes, and this is very ARM specific. V6, V7M, V7EM are the ARM core variations. As we are able to see in the wiki page, these different versions differ by the functionalities. For example, V7EM has DSP instructions, where V7M does not have them. The next component in the target name is EAB, Embedded Application Binary Interface, which specifies standard convention for file formats, data types, register usage, and etc. Last but not least is HF, which stands for Hard Float, which means that if your architecture supports floating point operations in hardware, they will be executed faster. If you don't have HF, you probably are using SF, which stands for soft float, and those operations of floating point will be executed in a software, which most likely will be slightly slower. So how do you know what target you need for your microcontroller or your development board? In our case, we can either do a Google search or look into a book, uh, but something I encourage you to do is just to go to a Cortex-M create documentation that I'm going to just bring up here. And as we see, uh, scroll down a little bit and in the cargo configuration, we can specify our build target and it really comes down to which Cortex microcontroller you have. Let's now see how to install the target and how to correctly choose it. In our case, I already have TAMP V6M non AB installed, but let's say I would like to install this one. All we do is rust up target add and we specify the target we would like to add. And as we see, there is a downloading and installing of that component. So let's rust up target list. And as we see, now we have both of those targets installed. I would really appreciate if you like the video and subscribe to my channel. It really allows me to grow this community together with you. And for the next week or more, I will be focusing to create a little bit more hands-on labs and some experiments with our dev board, the F3 Discovery. I have the oscilloscope that I have undusted from my drawer. We are going to look into some protocols and communications between the microcontroller and some other sensors. I square C spy, maybe a little bit more. We see as we go. So that would be all for today. Thank you for watching, and I see you next week. Bye.